Hi. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be demonstrating an on-DAW system application using LoRa communication. Let's get started. In a production line, when a machine encounters a problem and can't operate, this issue needs to be immediately reported to the relevant departments, such as maintenance, quality, or related material supply. To do this, we use an on-DAW button on the production line to notify about the ongoing issue, whether it's related to the machine, quality, or material. On this undone button, I'm using an ESP8266 and a LoRa module to send machine information, so there's no need for cables. The machine status information will be sent to the receiver as a structured message using LoRa communication, which includes the status of the button pressed on the undone button. On the LoRa receiver, I'm using a WT32ETH01 board connected to a LoRa module. The WT32 will act as a Modbus server, storing the status of each button based on the received messages. Since the WT32 has an Ethernet port, communication with the network can be done using an Ethernet cable. Note read, acting as a Modbus client, will read the registers in the Modbus coil register and then send queries to the database to store downtime data received from the production machines. I also created an undone system dashboard that displays machines currently in a stop state, indicating issues that need immediate attention. The undone system allows maintenance or production managers to quickly respond to problems, helping to improve efficiency and reduce downtime in the factory. This is the undone system button box. It features an indicator light on the side to show the status of the button. There are four buttons, a green button for indicating that the machine is operating, and three buttons for reporting issues, machine problems, quality issues, and material problems. I'm using a two-channel relay to control the indicator lights on the side. Next to it, there's a small box housing the ESP8266 and LoRa modules, which are connected to the buttons to send messages based on each button status. I'm also using a DC jack for a 5-volt power supply. Now, let's power up the box by plugging it into the DC jack. The box only requires a 5 volts power supply to operate, and it works without the need for cables or Wi-Fi. We can see that when the green button is released, the yellow indicator light turns on, indicating that the machine is off or not operating. When the green button is pressed, the green light will turn on, indicating that the machine is operating. This is used to counting the loading time. When any of the downtime buttons are pressed, whether for machine issues, quality problems, or material issues, the red light will turn on. This is the receiver that will receive messages from the undone box. I'm using a Wait32 ETH01 board with an Ethernet port, along with a LoRa module to receive LoRa messages. I'm also using a DC jack to power it with a 5-volt supply. Now, let's power on the receiver box using the 5 volt power supply. When first turned on, the red light will be on, indicating that there is no network connection via Ethernet. Once the board is connected to the network with an Ethernet cable, the red light will turn off, signaling that the connection has been established. The green light will blink on and off periodically, indicating that a LoRa message is being received. If the green light does not blink or change its status, it means there is a problem with the LoRa connection, and the receiver is not receiving messages. This is the node red flow code for retrieving status from the Modbus server connected to the network. The coil readings from the Modbus server will be used as a basis for querying the database. This concept was shared in my previous video on LoRa to Modbus. There is also a flow for displaying the on-DAW dashboard, which shows machines that are currently experiencing issues, as well as a page for viewing the history of downtime events that have occurred. Now, let's give it a try. When the machine downtime button is pressed, a notification will appear on the dashboard indicating that the machine is in downtime, with the category marked as machine. The same will apply for the other downtime buttons.
In summary, this video showcased the implementation of an undone system using LoRa communication and Modbus integration. We demonstrated how the system operates, from the undone button box that reports machine status and downtime, to the receiver unit that processes and displays this information. The key features of this setup include Wireless communication Utilizing LoRa modules eliminates the need for cables and Wi-Fi, providing a flexible and wide-range solution. Real-time monitoring the Undone dashboard displays current machine statuses and downtime notifications, enabling quick responses to issues. Historical data, the system allows for tracking and reviewing historical downtime events, aiding in performance analysis and continuous improvement. This approach not only streamlines communication but also enhances operational efficiency by reducing downtime and facilitating prompt issue resolution. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights and updates. See you in the next video.